Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip for you. Today we're going to talk about CodePen and how we can use CodePen to do some quick work of our HTML and CSS. What do I mean by that? Well, we all know that we can use Emmet. For example, we can use exclamation point and get this all written out like this. We can also um, do a div like this, or we can automatically put an ID like this, or even a class like perhaps this. And there's our Emmet. But you, you, did you know that you can actually add your own snippets? It's really quite simple, the way to do it. For example, we can do here, I have this snippet so that I can set up everything at my beginning. Or you can have something like an SVG all set up for you. And then inside the SVG, you could put a circle and then you can even put some text. And when you run it, it's already set up. So this is a great way to do some repetitive uh, text input or, or HTML. You can also do the same for uh, CSS. So for example, I want to put as a start, I always do this. And perhaps when I'm doing a div, for example, this SVG right here, I want to do a uh, a grid area. And so we have our grid area right here. So how do we get this done? Well, it's really quite simple. We're going to go here to your area, to your icon right here, and uh, you go to settings. So I'm going to center click on settings so it'll open in a new window here. And then we have uh, all of our Emmet information here. And here's the snippet, and here's what the output's going to be. So there's two ways to do an output. You can actually do an output by uh, setting up Emmet within there, and it's gonna set out everything you want. Or if you want to do HTML literal, you put it in between brackets. So I have an animate here, I have a rectangle, et cetera. Let's say I have the snippets for my CSS editors the same way. If you want the CSS literal, it's like this with the little brackets. So let's create one a nice complicated one so I can show you how it works. For instance, let's imagine that I have a heading with, um, well, actually let's, let's do uh, sections times five. And inside there, we're gonna put a heading that says section. Section one, two, three, and four, etc. And then we're gonna add lorem with uh, 150 characters, okay? So here's our site, okay? So now let's imagine that uh, we're going to reformat. So I like to usually reformat all of my sites so that uh, I can set the margins myself, but we get everything pushed in like this. So now I would have to go in and I would say H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, um, and then P, I usually don't go down for any farther than that. Margin bottom 10. And so since I have to do that all the time, uh, it gets kind of annoying. So I would like to only have to type in H1 tab and be able to get what I need. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, we're going to make sure that we have our new line set up here and our new line set up here because that's what we're gonna have it set up. And all we have to do, since this is CSS, we don't have to do any brackets. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna to go to our snippet area. We're gonna put here that we want this to say H1. And then we want to say this just like that, okay? And so now we have everything all set up the way we want it, okay? And so now we're gonna say save. Unfortunately, we have to reset all this. So let's go ahead and say copy for this and refresh. So it won't start the, the, the updates you do to the settings. Unfortunately, they won't take place unless you have it saved. You have to bring up a new pen. So we're going to copy that in. Paste that in, I mean. And so these are all set up. 
And then we're going to go ahead and say start. And now if I press H1, it's all set up the way I have it because of the new line breaks and everything. So now all I have to press is H1 and we're all set up, you see? So it works very, very nice. Okay, so let's imagine we have another example, a prime example of why you would use a snippet. So right here we have nothing more than just a holder div and the text in the center here. And what I want to do is normally we would have, let's say a uh, holder H1. And if I wanted to do a border around it or a drop shadow, we would say text shadow. And then we would say 3px, 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 and then white. And there you would have it. Okay. But let's imagine we wanted, instead of to do that, we wanted to put a border around it that was white, a glow around it, if you will. So we would, what we would do is we would take this and we'd copy this three more times, then terminate it. And we would add a subtraction here and then one here. And then we would put one here and one here. And there would be a nice glow around it. Okay. So now we have our glow that's around it, but we don't want to have to type this in each time. So I want to call it text glow. So what we're going to do is we know we want a new line here. We want a new line here and here. And here. And here. Okay. Actually, we don't need a new line here because we're just doing just this much of it. We don't need a new line because we don't need anything after it. Eventually, if I wanted something after, I could just do that. So we have this all set up. We just copy all of our text. Then we go to our code pen settings. Again, to get to the settings, you're just going to click here and go to settings. We're going to affect our CSS editor. We're going to call it text glow and we paste it in. Then we say save all settings. And then we're going to go ahead and refresh this. Okay, so now that we're back, all we have to do now is, for example, let's just say H1, set it up and say text glow. And now we have all of our settings. We run it. And it works just fine. And of course, we can change all these. We could change all these to say, um, instead of that, we say yellow. We run it. And now we have a yellow glow. Let's imagine you don't have a profile. Does it work? If you don't have a profile and you start coding, unfortunately, it won't come up here. So you'd have to sign up or log in in order to activate the snippets. So just so you know, um, once you're signed in, you get this area right here and you're all set up. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a wonderful day.